last episode, we talked heavily about the Kendrick Lamar diss track on uh, that's Future's project, right? Yeah. Yes. On Future's Future project. and Metro. On Fre- Future and Metro Boomer's project, right? It's called Like That. And we were waiting for responses from Drake and or Cole. Because if you being honest, I don't think that that Kendrick verse was majority about Cole. It was majority about Drake. However, Cole delivered a response on Friday that just passed uh, by way of a project called My Delete Later, which he had been teasing on YouTube with some vlog content. But both of those vlogs did include a single from yeah. this project, right? Cool. The last track on the project is called Seven Minute Drill. Seven Minute Drill seems to be Cole addressing what was said in the verse by Kendrick. He fucking ran to the studio after hearing that and recorded that shit. Okay. He didn't run. He bicycled. Yeah, he's known to bicycle. Yeah. He bicycled. <laughs> yeah. He I hopped mean, on the good old BC Clad. Nothing though. for you. Um, so that happens, right? Verse drops. I'm excited from the premise of energy in the culture. Right? Do I think either of these verses are the most vicious of battle raps or beef raps? Absolutely no. not. No. No way. It's not story of added on or hit him up, but that verse I thought by Kendrick was, I thought that was pretty vicious. If you dig into it, pause, but like, no, no please do. expound because I don't understand the, the viciousness. <clears throat> I no think it was, it, it was the nuance of it, right? Like you see all the videos on TikTok circulating around of people breaking it down. And I think it showcased why he is the only rapper with a Pulitzer Prize. Like, if you you can either take it from a surface level and be like, yeah, that was cool. Like, okay, we working with something. But if you start digging into the nuances of it, it's like he was actually on there popping that shit for a for one verse and one verse only. He got a lot off in one verse. If Like, it's not no Vaseline. It's not, you know, these kind of tracks because those are old tracks. But for (laughs) one verse to be as nuanced as it was, I thought was pretty crazy. And I and y'all know I'm not even like the Kendrick fan. Like, I don't listen to Kendrick shit like that. So for me. There's a level of if it takes a think piece for the bars to land, then it. I would agree if it wasn't about this artist in particular. We're talking about a rapper who holds a Pulitzer Prize. We're not just talking about, you know, no disrespect to any other rapper that's dropped a diss track, but we're not just talking about regular for the sport, rapidy rap. A simple rhyme and simple Simon. No, we are. And I don't think that award changes the context. I think it changes the depth in which he goes into writing because like I said, if you look at it at a surface level, you know who it's about. You know what it's addressing. And I think that's what makes it such a good verse is that if you don't want to dig into it and you take it just for rapidy rap, cool verse. Bet. He done sparked the shit off. And to add another level to it, um, I remember us having a conversation, not regarding this, but like just how certain awards give you a certain cachet. Like, yes, cachet. That's a better word than I was going to say, a certain level of respect. And so we were talking about the Whammies and how that lets you move in a different space than if you have one, if you don't. I think a Pulitzer Prize, like Lou says, puts you in a different realm. And so I think it, I think it, wouldn't say correlates, but it definitely makes sense that like how I know, would say it directly correlates I don't, because I don't it's like, go ahead. I, I was just gonna say because like again, like I said, from a surface level, it is high level rapping cool. But because he has that award, right? Even myself being a casual Kendrick fan, you have to pause and say, was there a little bit more to this? Cause you have a different kind of pen. You actually have an award that lets writers across all mediums know that your pen is different so it's like you kind of have to dig into it it would be the same way if somebody said i got a hit trying to say that to drake drake has dumb awards to let you know he does hits so when we talk about hits 
you got to dig into a little bit more because of the cash that he brings with the amount of awards he's been given for hits. I, I, I look at it the same way with Kendrick with having such a prestigious award. You can take a surface level if you want to, but to deny that that same pen didn't put some extra shit sprinkled in there, that's crazy. Come on, what are we talking about? It is Kendrick after all. I mean... The I, project he has is surface level. That, and that's what I'm saying. I think just alone with the cachet of the award and then who he has always been as an artist, going back to Section 80, you got to dig into it a little bit more. And you can go further back to overly dedicate it. Yeah, facts. Yeah. I don't think we can look at it as just, you know, and maybe this is us being rap nerds or whatever, but I mean. I mean, it doesn't matter. That nigga won. So, I mean, facts. I mean, it's a, it's a clear body. He won, he won before what happened. We haven't seen a body like this since uh, story of added on period. And like that. And okay. So that, and that's a good example. Now that I'm saying it pushes this, in my opinion, was very surface level where there was a bunch of other little nuances in there, but we know pushes pen to be a certain type of pen. So you're not really looking for the deep Kendrick type of shit. You might look for the, the witty Coke bar that's in there or the witty gangster line that's in within there, but you're not going digging for some kind of dissertation into a push diss. He, I mean, he's going to kind of bring it to your chest. You know what I'm saying? And not to say that Kendrick didn't, but there are those hidden layers. Like when, when I first heard it, I was like, what the fuck does 40 water have to do with this? Like, what the fuck does the E40 thing? And then I was like, he's really getting into some West Coast shit where he's mentioning very specific things to make a fucking point. That's fire. Because the casual fan is not going to know that, that connection at all. I still maintain there has to be something with him yelling bum like that, and I don't know what it is yet. You niggas bums. Like, but the way he... No, but the way he yeah, said yeah, it, the way, the, the way it was put into the verses, like, so what made you decide to do... It like that. That was that was just the flow. I, I'm convinced that there's something a little bit more to that, but I could be reaching. So, so because I gotta peel back all these layers to the onion, that makes it fire. No, what I'm saying, I think it makes it fire because you can take it from either way. Surface, oh. yeah, 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 yo, that was crazy. No, Diddy. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, again, you can take it from a surface level and take it for just what it is. Because there's very obvious bars. Your dog's getting buried, Pet cemetery. his project being called for all the dogs. There's very surface level shit. I think what makes it such a good verse is the fact that I can peel back layers and start to find more and more in this diss with each listen where it's like, yo, he, like, People like to talk about how Drake plays chess and all this. I mean, fuck, Kendrick. Like, that's that's 4D chess right there, bro. I think that's so what makes what it I so fire. What I will fire. say is that in, in, in preparing for this conversation, mm -hmm. I think I look back to, I want to say it was like the BET cipher. I think it was the BET cipher where Kendrick said something about basically when you finally make the choice to jump out the window and make this a fight, don't pull your hand back. And that's what's happening. But he's been, and he's been on that time. So. The control verse, everything, he's been on that. The frustrating part for me, right? Because Cole drops on Friday with the seven minute drill shit, the project, woo, woo. And for me, I was excited before even listening. Yeah. To see the energy in hip hop, right? Everybody's so strategic and so calculated in my deals and my da 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 da. It's like, right, but at what point is your manhood being called to the table not enough? It's like you can't drop a no Vaseline anymore. Look what happened with Story Added On. People had to step in because oh, that's too scathing. It was like, ah, oh, that's a typical but we came good rap at, diss. We can't even look at deals right now with, between these two people because... Kendrick by himself. By himself. Cole, he runs his label. No, no, no. no. I'm not talking about your Well, you label. can say Cole's Puma deal. I'm talking about... These men yeah. are multi-million dollar businesses yeah, individually, correct. right? Yeah, correct. And those multi-millions feed a lot of people, mm -hmm. right? Triple so, down economics. Right. So what I'm saying is it's crazy. there is impact to this, period. I would be inclined to agree if Kendrick didn't come out the way he came out. Pause. Like... He seemingly did not give a fuck. Uh, deals, deals, be 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 damned. Like, what's up? 
I'm calling y'all bums. I'm calling y'all. What's up? If anything, Cole might have to worry about that because he's got this new image of the, you know, the spiritual kind of clean cut guy that's well polished and he's got to deal with Puma. He's very hip hop backpacky, but can still make the hit. You know, maybe he has more to worry about that. But Kendrick is out here. I, yo, I'm outside. What's up? And I can still get the Pulitzer. I can still be a multi-million dollar business. I don't think that's a viable excuse anymore. To, to speak to your point, at what point, especially as a rapper, as men, there's already that level of ego, right? Like, don't test my manhood, right? And that, and you could call it feeble. You could call it fragile manhood, whatever. But it's still ingrained into men, right? On top of that, you're an entertainer, more specifically a rapper. We know the bravado and the ego that comes with that. At some point, you got to stand on something, in my opinion, and be like, yo, he's not about to talk to me like that. You could talk to the rest of the field like that because they not up here with us. But me? Nah, it ain't going to be me. And it ain't going to be like that either. Because think, again, the nuance of the diss with Future, with Metro, like there's that nuance there as well. So that's my point is how dare you? run around for the last, what, three years saying I'm the best and I'd love to be tested. That's that's what he's been saying. Am I, am I lying about Mr. Jermaine? No. Him and Drake. Okay. He got tested. He showed up for the the test. Uh, no, he didn't. No, no. He no, showed no. up for the test. Sure. Yeah. Yes. He said, I'm replied. He absolutely replied. So we're not going to take away. He did show up. Whatever your feelings are on how he showed up, that's, that's different. Yeah. But he did show up. I wasn't... I wasn't wholeheartedly mad at the response. I did agree with Joe Budden that like, yo, this don't sound like you give a fuck. It sounds like you're you're checking a box. When I heard it, I was like, you ain't going to do nothing but piss him off. Right. But I also was like, yes, because I know Drake's not about to do nothing right now. Yeah. Drake's yeah. going to do something at some point. Who knows what he already be. did. I'm not doing that. You you know how he is with the little Instagram pose. The the concert thing was taken out of context. People going to flip that, whatever. But the little pose and all, he's doing it in Drake fashion, bro. If you couldn't, and this is no disrespect because y'all know is VA all day, but if you didn't even respond to Push, I'm definitely not expecting you to respond to Kendrick. Wait, why? Because Kendrick is more recognized with the Pulitzer Prize. Some would argue that his raps are a little bit deeper than Push's, etc. I'm not taking anything away from Push. I like Push over Kendrick. Y'all know this. I'm just saying, if you weren't going to respond to push, and that was a, let's call it a standard run-of-the-mill diss. I'm going to talk shit about you. I'm going to address the points. It's a rap diss, right? And then Kendrick comes back with some more cerebral rap diss type shit. If you didn't respond to the regular run-of-the-mill rap diss, you definitely not going to respond to this shit. You may not even know all the layers that's in this motherfucker for you to respond to. You may not even know how to respond to it. Because seemingly you didn't know. And he can say he had a record in the tuck and all this. We don't believe you. You need more people. I don't I don't know that that's true. I, I, I just don't think he has nothing for Kendrick if he had nothing for Push. And that was a run-of-the-mill rap battle. That nothing Push said is more scathing than you hear on the URL. That was a run-of-the-mill, I'm a professional rapper, rap battle but there's, track. There's like legitimate friction there. Okay. I don't think any of these Drake runs around talking about how he got goons and he's untouchable and this and that. I, that that is agreeable. So not why not respond in like fashion? Here is a run of the mill rap disc. I'm gonna talk about you. I'm gonna say your wife's ugly. Whatever nasty shit you want to say about the other man, right? Had nothing for him. Now I'm expecting you to respond back to a, a human encyclopedia that just dissed you in ten dollar words and shit you don't understand and layers that you can't even peel back. Hell no. Human encyclopedia that dished you in ten dollar words. Yeah, that's that's bars. Yeah, I'm like just that. saying Kendrick is that's different. He's different, dog. If we're talking about who is the greatest writer, it is Kendrick. Greatest rapper, Cole. Greatest musician, entertainer, artist, Drake. 
Drake definitely don't got nothing for Kendrick, and Cole seemingly had some mid, and then retracted it. That's Here's pussy. Crazy. The, That's crazy the, to me. The diss track was mid. I think Cole rapped well on this project, though. Well, I admittingly did not hear the rest of the the project because I went straight to the diss track. Okay, all right. So this is this is. But that but that withstanding, I don't think that makes a difference. The song you said that Central C outrapped him, right? Which is wild to say, and it's true though. Okay. In what world does Central C outrap? You you said you listen to the song. I'm just no. I'm 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 mind blown. I'm not arguing. I'm just mind blown. I'm gonna tell you why, because Cole at some point in the verse went. A B C D E. I heard about this. I heard about this. Yeah, I heard about this. I don't know L's. I don't take those. Nigga, you just took one, and that's why you backed out. And so it's just that was. I think it's. I think it's all pub, dog. I think it's all publicity and PR. Why else would the greatest rapper walking earth right now retract a diss and in such fashion? At my festival, I'm stopping the show. I'm giving you a soliloquy about why I'm sorry and how I'm earthy and all this. What the fuck are we talking about? All right. So let me just say this. From this day forward, I never, never want to hear anything about Jermaine Lamar Cole being better than Kendrick Lamar. It just doesn't make sense, right? I never want to hear it again. No, nah, it's some, it's some niggas... They got an answer to you now. And I've been hearing been on this here. I've for a been long time. hearing this shit since I was in high school. You have to have a certain level of intelligence. In to fact, listen to, to J. Cole. Facts. You gotta do like Kendrick wasn't fucking rapping his ass off and overly dedicated, right? So now I need answers. And and apologies. Apologies. Facts. I need public I have statements. Receipts. I, I'm so sick of all of these niggas. I have been on this fucking. This is why I wanted to pod today. On this fucking tirade. Yeah, I know. I, I have been. I was like, why is this nigga so quiet? I know this is coming. I, 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 I yo. I, pause. pause. Yo. No diddy. But I, I let you guys, you know. But I'm just letting you guys. We know was right dilly dallying. Yeah, I, n- yeah. I never ever want to hear from anybody else <laughs> that Drake or or Cole is a never. better rapper never. than Kendrick. I never want to hear it again. It's, ever. It's so fucking quiet. I I this. never want to hear that shit again. And hand me the bottle. He had the audacity. Unless, unless no, 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 I'm not finished. He had the audacity. Go off, go off, King. To call to <laughs> pimp a butterfly. You up. <laughs> he called to pimp a butterfly a sleeper. Like he doesn't have an album. With fucking called for your eyes only. That was mid across the board. I like for your eyes only. The, like the best song was talking about folding fucking clothes. His biggest, I, I like his biggest, his biggest hit is lying in the back of eighth grade math class to get his nut off. <laughs> I'm so sick of all of these people. This is like, oh. <laughs> You need but no, it. that's not fair because that doesn't speak to it's, rapper it's, ability. It's fair. It's fair. No, that does, it's fair. D- call, it's calling fair. into question his biggest song does not equate to rapper ability because let's let's be let's be very no, no, clear. No, 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 Cole no, no, even fair. said it. It's I fair. came up being known off of bars. Let's not act like Friday Night I'm Lights not, and all this I'm shit not, don't I'm exist. Not, you not, can't not. bring in hits. If you want to talk hits, you got to compare them to Drake. See, see, if we talk in bars, we got to be a little more gracious than your, that. This is your problem. You interrupted me mid-speech. My bad, bro. He, he, the soliloquy is not It's over. not finished. It's my not fault, finished. my fault. And I'm not saying J. Cole is a bad rapper. I have never said that. My biggest problem is his stance. They're, they're not good people. I hold them up there with barbs because they're delusional right you could say that about all of those people beyonce drake nikki you could say that about a lot of people what but what do they all have in common jay-z no (laughs) well actually yes but um they just hold people to like well yeah that that level of fandom is fucking weird yeah you're, you're sidetracking i'm just saying i never never Never, as ever, long ever. as I'm walking on God's green earth, want to hear anybody say that J. Cole is better than Kendrick Lamar. I, wait, 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 wait. I'm still going to say that J. Cole, by and large, is a better rapper no, he's not. than Kendrick. No, he's not. But his pen no, he's not. is nowhere near Kendrick's. 
We can't take away Cole's ability to... Cole I World knows never, Snuggy, dog. And I'm not no Stan. Never, the boy can rap his fucking ass off. Way better than Kendrick. Way better than Drake. No, but can't. this move does he call not. into question one facet of being a rapper. I think it's... it's it's it, Being a rapper is is it, it multifaceted, right? You got to be an entertainer. What the fuck are you talking about? The, how, how is he... He does not have a song where he raps better than Kendrick on Nostalgia. He does not have a song where he raps better than Kendrick on The Heart Part 2. Let's just start there, right? I could name almost any name track him. from Friday Night Lights that right, he rhymes we're, we're, better we're than... Delusional. No, I, dog. Yo, I'm a West Coast dude. Y'all know I don't fucking give a fuck about none of this East Coast bullshit. I'm, I'm here to be the person that can call a spade a spade. Does it call into question one facet of name Jermaine Cole, name. rapper, being the top rapper? Yes, it does. Because name. you fucking back down. No, name I'm not going to we, We've done this before. I'm not going to pull out my fucking phone and pu fucking name pull up Friday song. Night Lights. I'm not going to fucking do that. I'll put it to you like this. Kendrick does not have a single project rap-wise that's better than Friday Night Lights. You're lying. In my opinion. You're lying. In my opinion. In my opinion. You're in my opinion. Lying. In my opinion. But what I'm saying is, I think it calls into question just one part of him being a rapper. And that was, you don't back down from the beef. It's the same thing with Drake. You don't back down from the beef. You don't apologize for it. That's part of being a rapper. What happened to the competitive sport of being a rapper? Somebody gets at you, you get at them, and you keep going until this shit is over with. You don't fucking apologize. That I agree. And if you do, you don't do it in public. Cube didn't fucking piece it up with Easy in public. Like, th this is not how this shit goes. Like, this is part of being a rapper. So do I think it calls into question that one part of being a rapper? Yes. But we're not going to sit up here and act like that boy don't rap better than both of them. No. I'm, so we're, we're, I'm talking about the ability to rap. He has been rapping better than them over the last three years. I don't... I See, here's the thing, right? That's true. Cole has been the best rapper of the three over the last three years. I would say the past fucking decade. But. No. No, I can't do that. Mm -mm. But this is bad. But Cole Project got better and now, than the capacity. I, I seen a lot of people saying online, like, they were like, yo, think of a fan of that. Cole. Oh. Really? Like, we got to let Cole have this moment. Like, we respect him being. Let, let me finish. We respect that he wants to keep his peace and like that he, oh. he feels like he made a bad decision. I get that. I respect that, too. However, I don't, he asked for. Forward. And that's the part that Fair makes word. it nasty. Is you? That's like if me and you were to go outside and I say, "Capo, fight me," and I smack you in the mouth, like like nature was saying. And then I realize I just challenged this man to a fight and smacked him in the mouth. On second thought, I don't really want to fight you, bud. That's not the way this shit goes, bro. You can't put toothpaste back in the fucking facts, tube. facts, facts. And all the people that are up there saying he deserves this and he's having no, it. He yo, doesn't. you can have that in private, dog. But for you to sit up there and do that, this was the weirdest, most goofy. No, the fuck. So you saying, and that's the part that I didn't like. So now you're calling into question an entire history of an art form where one of the integral parts of the art form and one of the most basic parts of the art form is dissing somebody, stunting on them, is flexing, whatever you want to fucking call it. This is part of where rap came from. And now you saying it's the goofiest, weirdest shit you've ever ever done it. what does that say to the battle rap community in general right what are, what are the implications of this statement what does that say to every fucking great rapper that came before your ass that has made a diss record like what the fuck are we talking about dissing somebody that you have been antagonizing and, and seemingly provoking for however the fucking long and now it's goofy and weirdo shit no you're a fucking goof dog you are the leader of the goof troop for saying that shit that's wild stand on that shit because think about it we all know how albums are made right that album was fucking done mixed master that shit was ready to go you ran to the fucking studio and you made that track or the opposite part of that is you already had it in the tuck which makes it worse because then you apologize for it that's goofy shit dog that's goofy i don't i ain't touched a microphone in almost 15 fucking years i still ain't apologize to nobody i ever fucking dissed i can't I wait don't I don't understand the apology, man. That shit is crazy. Like that, that that shit to me is is so. And then weird. it's like it's almost like he's trying to appeal very much 
to his fan base because I've seen the pictures of the fan base that goes to these fucking Dreamville concerts and I get it. They might not be the ones that are about the confrontation. I understand that and good for those people. But at the end of the day, you still have to remember this man is a fucking rapper and self-admittingly, don't get it fucked up. I came up off of bars. And now we doing this? Yeah, I just, he wanted to engage. Because if he didn't, he wouldn't have. Because there's been numerous times before where he didn't fully engage. Right or wrong? No, but he's been saying he wanted to engage. He knew. Am, he I, could, what, he am knew. I misconstruing what was being said? No, I he think, just knew he couldn't, he couldn't hang. The that, only, the only thing is. that I can think of is it's either that or somebody put a battery in his back. He got in the studio, he let it off, and then was like, actually, that's not the person that I am, and I shouldn't have done that. Which is fine if you feel that way, but then to come out this way and to, like, come on. Fam. I mean, I don't know, and people will say, well, what other way was he supposed to do it? Fam, the I don't know, but not like that. his fucking music out, just do it. Yeah, I, yeah. He could have made a track. Or not. He could have Because he did. Matter of fact, he, he did make a track the- when Control came out and he was on a fucking bus talking about Wale and fucking Kendrick and how they all brothers and this and that. So you could have did it that way. Or he could have just took point. the song. Come on. He did it already. He could have just took the song then. Now, now see, that yeah, I, I think would be my- corny because he did announce it too. He's taking all streaming things. I think that would be corny. Address it like the way you did before. Yo, we all brothers. We all in this. Da, 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 I'm going to get at you. But you know, it's like, you know, you know, you know. What? But then, but okay, we also, here's my thing. We all know that it's brothers getting at each other, right? We all know that none of these guys are taking it there. They don't have real problems. Right. So what I need from them is more creativity sparring and less of you nice niggas talking about up in sticks and shit. You're not going to get that because Drake's running around with fucking Yachty. Cole is... Seemingly Yachty's fucking nice too, Dalai Lama, fucking Buddha, fucking peaced out. Kendrick seems to be the only one with the true smoke. And that's not a knock to Yachty. Like, y'all know I'm not the biggest Yachty fan, but as long as Drake is surrounded with that kind of younger, more fun energy, making those kind of tracks, I, I don't think though. he's I don't think he's gonna be in the mind frame to be like, hold on, Yachty, I, I can't get a manicure this weekend. I gotta fucking diss Kendrick. I don't think that's gonna happen. I feel with Yachty though. Like Well, I, I'm j i am and again, I didn't say that as a diss. It's just yeah. that's a different energy. Yeah. Like, you're not thinking I, about I like, dissing dudes if you got this young kid around you that's just like, bro, let's have fun. And, you know. I like Yachty when he's not rapping. 